Leaked documents suggest the iPhone 17 Pro's camera module alone cost $200. Just for the sensors and lenses, that's a 60% increase from the iPhone 16's $127. And yes, it reportedly looks exactly like a Google Pixel. 348 megapixel sensors for the first time ever, a controversial camera bar design, and if Trump's threatened tariffs hit 54%, you could pay an extra $50 to $100 more. Today, we're exposing the manufacturing reality behind Apple's most expensive camera system ever, $340 when you include processing and assembly. Trust me, once you see what it takes to build triple 48 megapixel sensors, you'll understand why analysts predict the iPhone 17 Pro at $1,299. For the first time, Apple is reportedly cramming 348 megapixel sensors into one phone. That's 144 million pixels capturing light simultaneously. The manufacturing challenge? Each sensor requires its own cleanroom line. Triple the sensors means triple the contamination risk. One dust particle could potentially impact three production lines. Here's the kicker. Early production yield rates reportedly dropped as low as 60% according to supply chain sources. If true, that means for every 10 sensor sets manufactured, four get rejected. At an estimated $65 per 48 megapixel sensor, Apple could be paying $195 just for the raw silicon before assembly, before testing, before that controversial camera bar. The iPhone 16 Pro used 248 megapixel sensor and 112 megapixel sensors. Estimated cost, $85. This rumored triple 48 megapixel setup? Around $195 for sensors alone. That's a 130% increase in sensor costs. The complete camera module, including lenses, hits $200, while the full system with processing reaches $340. Apple's copying Google's homework, literally. The camera bar design requires completely new manufacturing equipment. Instead of a square bump, they're milling a full-width aluminum channel Cost increase $25 per unit just for the housing. But here's why Apple doesn't care about the controversy. The bar design dissipates heat 40% better. 348 megapixel sensors generate three times the heat. Without this design, your photos would thermal throttle after 30 seconds. Manufacturing this bar requires precision to 0.05 millimeters across the entire phone width. One slight bend and all three cameras misalign. Apple had to build entirely new production lines. Investment cost, $500 million. Per unit cost, $25. The potential reason your iPhone 17 Pro could cost $1,299? Tariffs. Every iPhone may say designed in California, but its true story begins far from Silicon Valley in the sprawling, humming factories of China. Apple currently pays 20% on Chinese imports. The camera module alone adds an estimated $40 in tariff costs, but the Trump administration is threatening to raise it to 54%. If enacted, that could add $108 just for the camera system. Apple's reportedly scrambling. They've moved an estimated 25% of production to India, avoiding tariffs entirely, but sources suggest Indian facilities can't manufacture 48 megapixel sensors yet. They're allegedly shipping sensors from China to India for assembly creating logistics complexity and quality control challenges. Bottom line, current and threatened tariffs could add $50 to $100 per iPhone 17 Pro, according to analysts. Apple would likely pass these costs to consumers. They're expected to frame it as feature enhancement pricing, but industry watchers see it as tariff cost recovery. The rumored iPhone 17 Air presents an engineering challenge. Concept leaks suggest fitting a 48 megapixel sensor into a 6.25 millimeter thick phone. If accurate, the sensor alone would be four millimeters thick. The lens stack needs three millimeters. Basic math says this shouldn't exist. Apple's rumored solution? Remove everything non-essential. No OIS, software stabilization only. No telephoto, no ultra wide. One 48 megapixel sensor reportedly doing everything through computational cropping. Estimated cost to manufacture this simplified camera? 
around $85, almost as much as the iPhone 16's entire camera system. The Air concept, if real, proves something important. Making things smaller is often more expensive than making them better. This single camera could cost 40% of what the Pro's triple camera costs, but potentially delivers 30% of the capability. 348 megapixel sensors generate 432 million pixels per burst. The A19 Pro dedicates 40% of its transistors just to image processing. But here's the problem. It needs 12 gigabytes of RAM to handle the data. That's a 50% increase from iPhone 16 inches. RAM alone adds $30 to manufacturing costs. The enhanced neural engine adds another $15. Total computational overhead for the camera, $45. You're literally paying for the intelligence to process all those pixels. Combined with sensors and housing, we're at $265 for the complete camera system, the most expensive camera Apple's ever built. Let's clarify the costs. The camera module, just sensors and lenses, reportedly costs around $200. Breaking it down, 348 megapixel sensors at an estimated $65 each equals $195. Precision lens stacks add roughly $40. That's your $235 camera module. But the full camera system includes more. The controversial camera bar housing adds an estimated $25. Enhanced computational processing with 12 gigabytes RAM requirement, roughly $45. Assembly with rumored 200 quality checkpoints, around $35. Total system cost, approximately $340 before tariffs. Apply the current 20% China tariff and you add 40 to $68. If threatened 54% tariffs happen, that jumps to $108. Apple's expected solution? The iPhone 17 Pro at $1,299, up 50 to $100 from current models. If these estimates are accurate, the iPhone 17 Pro's camera system makes one thing clear. Premium phone prices are entering new territory. Between potential tariffs, rumored manufacturing complexity, and computational requirements. Analysts predict next year's iPhone 18 Pro could reach $1,399. Your phone may become your most expensive personal device. But here's the reality. If that rumored $200 camera module with triple 48 megapixel sensors delivers as promised, it could match any $5,000 DSLR for most users. The question isn't whether the technology is worth it, it's whether consumers will accept these new price points. Will you pay $1,299 for an iPhone with a Google Pixel-style camera bar? Or wait for more details? Drop your predictions below and subscribe to see how Apple navigates this pricing challenge.